Microsoft Management Console is probably the most efficient way to work on your systems when it comes to Windows. It's your toolbox with all the different tools that make system administration a breeze. Before we continue, we're going to look at all the tools in greater depth. Computer Management Task Scheduler Event Viewer Shared Folders Local Users and Groups Services and Applications Local Computer Policy Local Security Policy Audit Policies Group Policy Object Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Settings So let's talk about how you configure Microsoft Management Console. You can either look it up or use the run prompt to launch it. If you do use the run prompt, type MMC. After that, check out File, Add slash Remove Snap-in, and add the following snap-ins. We're going to be adding Computer Management, Local Computer Policy, and Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. You can save your snap-in configuration if you need to. So let's go in depth into each snap-in. Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Settings. The firewall on control panel doesn't give you a thorough look of all the details, but this one does. Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Settings can be located in its own snap-in. Within the interface, you'll have the ability to access inbound and outbound rules. Within these rules, you can notice a lot of different details. If we look at some rules, there are details like a name, a group, the profile, its status, to allow or deny, if it overrides any rules, the program it is associated with, and local, remote, ports, addresses, and protocols. There are a lot of details you'll find within these rules. When searching for rules that look fishy, see what programs are involved. If very specific programs that you don't remember are involved, take a look into it. Very specific details on certain rules might be strange. In addition to that, certain ports within certain ranges might also be considered uncommon. You can add or delete rules with the actions area to your right. Event Viewer can be useful when trying to troubleshoot or investigate a system. You can find it in the Computer Management Snap-in. Let's assume you were asked to ask if an account had had multiple attempts to guess the password. Your first thought would be to check the event logs. Event Viewer goes over multiple areas in important detail, including date and time, source, event ID, and task category. With all those details, it should be easy to understand a situation just by thoroughly reading it. Task Scheduler is a tool that allows you to configure tasks with certain criteria. You can find it in the Computer Management Snap-in. Whether that be time or an event, Task Scheduler is a tool that allows repetition. Sometimes this place can hide malicious tasks, so one important thing to do is to thoroughly check Task Scheduler for any suspicious items. Sometimes this place can hide malicious tasks, so one important thing to do is thoroughly check Task Scheduler for any suspicious items. When looking into tasks, there will be a name, status, and trigger within the Task Scheduler library. Triggers and actions are the most important part of these tasks. It is important to note what specific item is executable, if it is privileged, where the executable is, and the description. When a system has been infected, it could be clear that your services have been tampered with just by observing to see if any properties have changed. As an example, there are four startup types to a service. Automatic, which means it will start every time it boots. Delayed automatic, which will boot after everything else is booted. Manual, which will only be usable when activated by a user or program and disabled, which will prevent it from being activated. Some common tampering I find includes things that are Windows specific, like firewall, update, or defender. Bad services could have blank descriptions, strange executables, or weird directories. Ultimately, a lot of these services have the same bad symptoms in mind, where you have to investigate, look for clues, and find evidence in user best judgment. If you need to find something in the Windows services or sort them out, Simply clicking this area will allow you to do so. This can be useful when attempting to find services that have been disabled, or clicking on a service, just at random, and then typing whatever service you're looking for will take you to it. Shared folders are exactly what they are. They are shared drives or folders that are accessible through commands or the file explorer. Shared folders will be located in the computer management snap-in. Here, you can add, delete, 
and modify shares. Keep this in mind when you're looking for entry points on a system. Local users and groups. You should be very familiar with this snap-in. It will be located in the computer management snap-in. It is used to add, delete, and modify users and user groups. Local computer policy is the local security policy of your system. It is one of the most important parts of your security as the way you implement it changes the way you and others can interact with the system. Want to deny remote access? You can do it here. Want to require higher security standards than the regular ones that normally come installed with it? It's here too. At your standpoint, you need to create your own security policy and ensure it fits your standards. For resources on how to create and establish one, take a look at Microsoft's recommendations. You can also take a look at the Center for Information Security or the Department of Defense. All of these resources provide suggestions or guides on security policies. Your local security policy will be available to you in local security policy, computer configuration, Windows settings, and then security settings. In addition to that, you'll also have to establish an audit policy. An audit policy is used to record data and events that will be useful to you in the future, or give you warnings for anything that might be happening. You can change configured failed logons or attempts to change vital settings here, and it'll notify you whenever those things actually happen. My previous suggestion for policy development resources are still relevant for audits. Auditing settings are found in the same place as your local security policy. And finally, the group policy. Group policy can be accessed in local computer policy, computer configuration, and then administrative templates. These settings change how a lot of things on the system work. As an example, if you're unable to access the registry, command prompt, or control panel, the answer may lie in your group policy. If you need to go through your group policy, the same suggestion for sorting services works here. You can sort it based on what is configured, and you might find that the settings that are actually configured will be the most influential for your system. Here's what we covered in this episode. What Microsoft Management Console is, the advanced firewall, computer management tools, the computer policy snap-in, and researching your own policy. Microsoft Management Console really has all those Microsoft tools that you'll normally need, which is great, but I wouldn't call it the perfect toolkit. We have additional tools that we're going to be taking a look into in the next episode. Until then.